A summary of how the early atmosphere has changed by kscience.com. 4.5 billion years ago, the Earth's atmosphere was very different to today's atmosphere. Ancient Earth had a lot of volcanic activity, which caused Earth to be very hot and drastically affected Earth's atmosphere. Whereas in today's Earth, there is a lot less volcanic activity, so our atmosphere is very different. It was very hot 4.5 billion years ago due to the large amounts of volcanic activity, whereas it is much cooler in today's atmosphere as there is a lot less volcanic activity. There was mainly carbon dioxide present in Earth's early atmosphere, whereas in today's atmosphere, there is 0.04% carbon dioxide. This is a very big change due to several reasons. There was lots of water vapour in Earth's early atmosphere, and there's very little water vapour in today's atmosphere compared to what it was like 4.5 billion years ago. There were no oceans 4.5 billion years ago, whereas in today's Earth, we know there are a lot of oceans. There was no oxygen in Earth's atmosphere 4.5 billion years ago, but in today's atmosphere, it is made up of 21% oxygen, a very big difference. So with so many changes, what caused this? Well, in this video, we're going to summarize all of the natural processes which have caused carbon dioxide and oxygen levels to change over the last four and a half billion years. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. In this table, we're going to compare what caused carbon dioxide to decrease and what caused oxygen to increase. Natural processes which caused carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere to decrease include carbon dioxide dissolved in oceans. Carbon dioxide dissolving in the oceans then led to the formation of sedimentary rocks such as limestone, Photosynthesis was a massive factor in reducing the carbon dioxide levels in the Earth's atmosphere. Cyanobacteria in stromatolites, algae and land plants were all responsible for reacting carbon dioxide with water to produce glucose and oxygen. Fossil fuels forming stored the carbon within the fossil fuels, not allowing the carbon to be in Earth's atmosphere. It's question time! Attempt these questions to check your understanding. And what caused oxygen levels to increase in Earth's atmosphere? Well, there's one major reason, and that's photosynthesis. The organisms responsible for photosynthesis were cyanobacteria in stromatolites, algae and land plants. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just re-watch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com for more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe.